So I've been in this business for the last 20 years driving taxi in the city of Chicago. And what I have learned in this business is the customer service is the main part of it. And what I do usually with my customers that I make sure when they get in my car, they feel that uh, that they're comfortable. That's the number one thing, you know. Uh, and the, wh what can uh, consider being comfortable is that your car is clean. Your attitude when they enter the car is also has to be friendly. We immediately notice that uh, if they are really, if they would like to talk to us uh, on the way uh, to their destination, or some of our customers, they just want to stay quiet and they just want to unwind after a long day. And sensing that it's uh, it does it's not very difficult, you know. After driving for just a little bit, you will start sensing it. And uh, uh, there is, it's it's good to talk to the customer and give them in, uh, provide them more information about the city if they have any questions. Because many people they look at us as the ambassador of the city, you know. They look at us as somebody who have all the knowledge about the city, and we should be giving them. Uh, their answers or the whatever the information they're looking for by the end of the day the most important thing right now in this business to gain more customers or get our customers back is the customer service there is no gadget there is no app that can help us as much as our behavior and our customer service to bring our customers back to us because that was something was uh, going away from this industry and we have to bring it back to uh, bring our customers back. Now the question is what is considered customer service? What do you need to do as customer service uh, in, in customer service? Well, like I said, the most important thing is that you have to make them feel comfortable. You have to make them feel that they are with a the professional. They're not with somebody who doesn't have a license. You know, Being licensed brings responsibility. Bring, uh, that means that we have been qualified to do this job and we have to show that to our customer with our behavior uh, and that's bring number one thing is professionalism i mean how do we show professionalism it is all about when the customer enter the taxi you know when a customer get in the taxi after greeting them asking them about uh, their destination and then just ask them which way they prefer to go it's a very important question because sometimes people have their own way to get to their home because they know their home, uh, don't, they know their way to home is way better than any of us. Uh, and if they would just uh, let you take the right, then take the best route that you can think of. Uh, we do have uh, a good sense of the routes uh, as a professional. We learned that in school, we learned that in class. Also, we can depend on uh, such apps as Waze or any GPS that can give us knowledge of the traffic. But it's very important that we do not interact on the phone while the customer uh, uh, in the car and while we're driving. So uh, use those apps very carefully. Uh, they all mostly works with the voice recognition as well. Use the voice recognition. Technology can help you to gain more customers, bring more customers, and keep more customers. And there's many uh, sources of technology out there that you can use to do that to gain more business. We have to understand one thing when we enter in this business. This is a business, we are businessmen. We have to understand that, that we have to treat it like a business. I know most of us get into this business thinking we will be in it for a few days, a few years, and we will find something else and we will leave this business. But most of us end up staying in it. So while we're doing this, we should be giving the best of us. We should be treating it like the business that we wanna be best at. Because once you are good in it, you can more easily will get to the next step, whichever the next step is in your life uh, as a professional, you know. Maybe you're in it while you're going to school. Giving the best customer service to your customers now is a good way of practicing for a future, good way of practicing when you will be uh, in another profession in your life that, you would, that you're trying to achieve. So start from here. This is the beginning. Giving better customer service also will make your day better. You know, bringing positive attitude bring, is going to uh, make your day positive. So talking to your customer nicely, giving them all the information they need, asking them for their preferred route, taking all the payments type that uh, city allows and that we should be taking like credit cards, that's, which is number one, or any type of vouchers is very important. You know, I mean, it may seem like a little bit of a hassle to take credit cards and wait for uh, to get the money uh, uh, in next couple of days, 
but this is just a part of the business. We need to understand that, that we are in a business and it has its requirements and we need to follow the requirements. So from day one, treat it like a business. Day one, treat it like that you have to give the best of yourself to this business and you will be happy, you will make more money. So that's very important. Now, when you will treat it like your business, you will make your own customers and making your own customers m will bring you more money that is very important you know we should not be just depending on one source use all the sources available there's nothing wrong with it use all the apps available to get the customers use uh, uh, you will be working for taxi company uh, maybe a flash yellow any of those big companies they will be giving you orders treat all the customers with respect treat all of their customers like they are your they're your own customers and there's nothing wrong making your own customers that is very important and you will only be able to make your customers when you will give them the best of yourself best of the customer service and give them the comfort uh, to be in your car people just would like to get better customer service that's why we were losing business that's why that's where we need to focus to get uh, to gain our customers back or bring our customers back there are some things in this business that we should make sure that doesn't happen uh, when we are driving a taxi, when we're driving as a professional. And again, we need to bring our professionalism in this business by the way we drive. Uh, when we drive, driving quickly is good. It's good for the customer. Sometimes we have to do this in order to get to, uh, because we're going to pick up a time order or we're going to pick up a customer. We have to be there on time. It is a very big challenge. Uh, like any other transportation business because we heavily depend on traffic and other aspects like weather but driving quickly does not mean that we have to drive recklessly there is a difference between driving quickly and getting to places as fast as we can and driving recklessly because as a professional we need to make sure we're responsible on the road we are on the road more than anybody else uh, driving so we are more responsible for our behavior on the road uh, road rage accidents tickets doesn't get us anywhere faster it doesn't get us anywhere matter of fact anytime if you ever got involved in uh, tax uh, in an accident or uh, if you ever get a ticket believe me it's not worth it it's gonna cost money it's gonna cost time and that's what we're not in it for we're in it to make money not lose money so driving carefully is very important with or without a customer now when a customer is in a car keep in mind their safety is our responsibility you know from the point they get in our car until they get inside their home or where they're going we need to make sure that they're safe if you're picking somebody up at night late at night it's good to just wait a few minutes let them get inside the door let them know that I'll wait for you until you get inside your home especially the ladies late at night uh, it is because if anybody's in that area who have any negative intentions watch looking at there's a somebody's watching like a cab driver they may not act upon their uh, uh, their negative intentions so it's good to wait for them it is part of the customer service it is part, part of uh, us taking care of our customers so safety is very important so don't just drive recklessly with a customer or without a customer but especially definitely with a customer because we have to make them feel comfortable we have to show them that we are professional in it with time we will understand how the traffic work with time we will understand how to drive more quickly and not recklessly so main focus is not to drive recklessly and take care of our customers another thing is that we should not be on the phone especially while we have a customer in the car uh, I know it's a very lonely job. I know that we tend to talk to our friends. We want to talk to our uh, co-workers to find out how's the business, where's the business. It is important. But when a customer is in the car, it's a definitely a no-no because that customer will not feel comfortable of a driver with who, uh, whose attention is probably not on the road. Even though sometimes we're talking on the uh, headset and we're talking uh, on a wireless or Bluetooth, but still, you know, there's a part of attention which is away from the road. And a part of attention that customer needs is away from the customer. It's better to focus on a customer to, to their, maybe they would like to ask us questions, maybe they would like to know about you, about your business. So it's better to talk to them. And that's one other, I mean, I'm gonna come back to the point of customer service, that that is another way of gaining your customer, to making your own customer, to have communication with them. You will, believe me, you will enjoy your ride more and you sometimes would not even feel that hour to the airport because you had a very interesting conversation with a customer. You will learn things about other people and other businesses. It is a very good way to gain more knowledge as well for you as a person and to give better customer service. So it's better not to be on the phone, especially while we have a customer in the car and talk to our customer 
if the customer is willing to talk. And you will find sometime customers, they just want to stay quiet uh, in their time, just unwind after a long day, and we should give them the, the quiet time as well. I've been driving taxi for almost 18 years in the city of Chicago. In the beginning, I did make some mistakes that other people made, but very quickly I learned that in this whole time that I have to give myself to this business in order to get get something out of it. Uh, as most of us, I joined this business thinking that I will not be in it for very long, but it's been 18 years now. And the moment I start gaining my own business, treating my customers better, that's when I start feeling like that I should be in this business. In this 20 years of my, almost 20 years of driving taxi, what I learned is that positive behavior is very important in every aspect of this business. When is when we're dealing with the taxi companies to when we're dealing with the city of Chicago. You know, we all are doing business, they all are doing business, they all are, we all are doing our, what we need to do on what is our responsibility. You know, nobody's out there to hurt us, nobody's out there to take advantage of us. Everybody would like to do just what they're supposed to be doing and our job is to stay positive. Staying positive is very important with your customers, with the city, with the cab company, or with whoever we're dealing with. Positivity will bring you more peace of mind, positivity will bring you more business, and staying positive is very important uh, uh, in this business. Basically our customers, they just want to be treated well. That's the main complaint that most of our customers would make if, they would, if you would ask them that what they don't like about taxi industry, why would they prefer any other service? It's because they feel that they're not being treated well, they're not being treated with respect. It is very important to give respect to our customers. Not only they will respect us back, and believe me, you will notice that. You will feel it immediately the moment you start treating your customers better, that they will treat you with a lot of respect. Also, if they have a type of a payment, most of our customers, they are business travelers. Most of them, they go to the airport taking a taxi. Most of them, they have to get their reimbursed. And the best way and the fastest way to do it is by being with a credit card. So accepting credit card from our customers is very important uh, when, because that will provide them the receipts they need to submit. Most of the companies, they just take their uh, statement for their trips and uh, they submitting cash receipts. It's a little complicated for them. It's too much work. So. If we make them make that more convenient for them to accept credit card, to provide them with a receipt for credit card, they will be happy about it. So we need to make our car more friendly. It's like having a store. You know, if you own a store for a business, you know, sometimes we uh, that's you know we uh, get into the businesses, we buy grocery stores, we buy gas stations. What do we do in order for to bring more customers? Make it more welcoming, make it more appealing to them, you know. When they come in, they should be feeling that it's a friendly place, you know. So your taxi is just like that. It is it's just like your business uh, uh, front. Uh, it shows people who you are, how you treat your business. So again, keeping it clean is very important. It is very difficult in this business because sometimes people leave trash in your car and uh, you probably don't know about it, it's behind you. Sometime after driving a few hours, smells develop in the vehicle, especially in winter when the windows are up. So that's why it's a good practice to every few hours or every hour or some, you know, roll down all your windows for two, three minutes, let the clean air flow, keep an air freshener in your car, uh, that will make the car, uh, keep the car smelling good because again, the moment customer gets in, the first thing that they would notice that how your car smell. So keeping a car smelling good by keeping the windows, uh, rolling the windows down every uh, few minutes, every hour, or and keeping an air freshener handy, which we use several times in a day. It may cost us two, three dollars in a week probably, but believe me, it will change the entire environment of your taxi, you know. And uh, when people get in the car, they will immediately feel this is a nicer car, it's a cleaner car, driver smells good, the car smells good, you know, uh, I will have a positive experience in it. So I always paid attention when I was driving about my car smell and there have been instances then that I have no control because sometimes you stop at some place, your car exhaust will bring the bad uh, uh, air from outside and your car interior will smell bad and you probably don't even feel about it because you're, you, uh, you wouldn't notice it until another customer gets in the car, you know, then they will. It happened to me, it happens to all of us. But that's when you, roll, you try to roll it 
you would roll down your windows more often to make sure that it gets some fresher air inside your car. I also offered my customer, and believe me, 90% of them did not use it, but it was a good way to gain business, was the free Wi-Fi. Offering free Wi-Fi is very easy nowadays with our phones turning into hotspots uh, very easily. Most of the companies offer us free data. If not, you know, for a hotspot, even if there's a limited data, we may spend a little bit more money, but when you will make your own customers, you will make 10 times more than that easily. So just you, if you tell your customer, I have a free Wi-Fi, you will definitely impress your customer. You, they will think, wow, you know, this is a tech-savvy cab driver. He's taking care of his business. So it not only shows that you're tech savvy and you offer free Wi-Fi, it shows somebody who's taking their business seriously. You know, and people, they respect those people, the one who take their business seriously. If they would get in the car and if they would notice that it smells bad, the driver, they really did not even comb his hair in the morning and he just got in the car, immediately your impression is bad on a customer you know immediately he would think that if i would get another cab driver or if, if next if another day or another time he would get a better cab driver he would think more about giving him the business it is just like a storefront you walk into a, a store if it's dirty if it doesn't look good if things are not proper if the custom uh, the the wrap in the store he he doesn't look he like to take care of himself but next day, if you go to a different store, which, uh, which is uh, completely opposite, you would go to that store again and again. So it's about representing yourself and representing your car and making your car look clean, smells good, offering whatever is available in the market, such as such thing as Wi-Fi. And there's a lot of other technologies uh, uh, available out there that you can add to your car, which can uh, help your customers to have better experience, especially on a long ride to the airports. You will definitely gain more customers. By the end of the day, our, this is a business, our job is to gain more customers and we should do everything that's possible like we would do in any other business that we would own in future. We should start from taxi. We should start making our taxi treated like a business, do better at it and believe me in no time when you will achieve uh, your next goal, what you want to do in life, you will be doing good at it, you will be good at it. There will be times that you will make mistakes in taxi. In every business, like every business, you know, we're human beings. Uh, we, even when we try our best, we still sometimes make mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. There's nothing wrong with making mistakes. What needs to be done is after we make mistake, how do we fix it? That is the most important part. Uh, it's not a problem to make a mistake. The problem is that how we deal with it afterward. Most of the time what I did, if I take a wrong route, if I miss a turn, which will happen uh, as part of the business, I usually tell my customer that I'm sorry, I missed the turn or I took the route that ended up being longer route. I would just turn my meter off and I would tell them to pay me whatever they like to pay me. And believe me, most of the time I think I got paid more than what it would have been on the meter because people would just like to see if you acknowledge your mistake and after once you acknowledge it they will treat you better they will forgive you easily and you would move on with your day you will keep the positivity in your cab and you will keep the positivity in your business so if you make ever, ever make a mistake just admit to that to your customer apologize them and do whatever you need to do in order to fix them i've told people in past that if you like you don't have to pay me and we can go on from here and believe me it never happened that they didn't pay me they always paid me and they always paid me better than what it would have been on the meter so make sure that you take the fastest route but uh, and not to miss a turn but if it happens there's nothing to worry about just turn your meter off and tell your customers that they can uh, they can uh, pay you whatever they think is the right amount and most of the time you will get paid more Taxi driving is a very unique business. Most of our customers, when we're picking them up from street, they're new customers. I think that this is one of the few businesses that you would get new customers way more than the repeat customers. Once in a long while, you will run into the same customer on the street. And actually, if you two had a good conversation, if you two have talked before, they will be happy to see you. But also, you can make repeat customers. And just like any other business, repeat customers are the most important customers for you because they keep coming back to you. Now the question is that, how do you get the customers keep coming back to you? Again, it's going back to the basics, that you treat them better, you take the best route, you talk to them nicely, you keep your car clean, car clean and you, take, uh, you accept 
the type of payments that CT allows you and the customer would like to pay like credit cards and that's and if you would give them the ease of all these things if you give them the comfort to be in your car people they take taxis a lot in city of Chicago and believe me they would love to have a cab driver who would treat them better who would give them better customer service so in order to get your customers back always give them the best customer service always offer them that you can pick them up if they're going to the airport you know ask them if they would like to be picked up on the way back it's uh, if you have given them best customer service getting to the airport believe me they would rather wait for you uh, uh, at the airport than get in the next taxi in the line because if they're going back to downtown and they're going to be sitting in a car for 40 minutes or 50 minutes as the traffic of chicago is then they'd rather be in a car with somebody they feel comfortable with. So you can always ask the customers that if they would like to be picked up again. And most of the time, if they're going back and you have treated them well, they would want you to come back and pick them up. This way you'll stay busy. We have to be good uh, taxi drivers as much as the customers, they have to be good customers as well. The, now, how to be a good customer, that's an important question. Well, the, as a customer, if I'm a customer and a taxi driver, I would treat my taxi driver with, a lot of, with respect. That's very important because sometime at night, at night times, uh, especially you will pick up some people. They will be a little loud. They will be making noise. They, they will, they may not behave well with you uh, in the taxi. Uh, so that's something the customer should think about when they get in the car. You know, they should talk to the cab driver nicely. They should treat them with respect. They should understand that they the taxi driver also is uh, having a long day driving all day is not that easy some of us drive 200 miles in a day in the city of chicago not going somewhere far driving in the city streets with traffic 200 miles is is, is a havoc on our system you know and and it is hard to sometime to to keep our behaviors are uh, positive the entire time after going through the traffic so customers it is a little bit responsibility of them too to understand that that if they would talk to us nicely, if they would smile when in the car, if they would give the, give us respect, they will get better customer service out of us. Because basically, if you if somebody talks to you nicely with a smile, even if you're having a bad day, you respond back the, back to them with a smile. So that's one very important thing for our customers as well to treat the cab driver with respect and understand the limitations of the business. Uh, Sometimes getting uh, customers, they place a time order, they want a cab driver to come. Just like airplanes, just like trains, just like buses, it is very complicated for us to be on time because we all depend on such things as traffic and weather. So leave yourself a window, you know. I mean, if you need to be picked up at 6.30, give them a time for 6.20. You know, give them give them a 10, 15 minutes window. It would be easier for you to be picked up on time, and it would be easier for the driver who's coming to pick you up. So he doesn't have to rush too much if he's running late due to traffic or any other uh, reason, which is uh, like such as rain or or weather. So customers have to understand as well that the drivers they have a job, and what is the uh, um, complications of this job is and and drivers if they talk to customers more they can explain it to them very nicely that what are the complications by the end of the day it is a tough job driving all day driving 200 miles sometimes in a day in the city of chicago the stop and go traffic dealing with construction and such challenges as watching traffic watching for customers on the street paying attention to apps to give us fares to our computers from cap companies to give us fares that's a lot of focus and that's tire us all by the end of the day so it's important that we all start with the positivity we work 10 12 hours a day it's tough but it's not impossible this job really gets you ready for other jobs if you do it well and we have families and our job is to just come work get as much business as we as we can be safe not to have accidents treat our customers better make sure that that positivity stays with us all day every customer gets off happy because them being happy will make us happy and that's what's more important when we go home to our families that that we don't look that we've been through the whole the traffic and everything that should not 
uh, get to us. We should try that as much as possible. It's not that easy. It is difficult. It is difficult sometimes the business is slow. It is difficult sometimes because there was too much traffic uh, someday. And just try our best. That's more important. Like every other business, give yourself 100% to this business and you will succeed in this.